guys, it's bro you whack, and we got probably what is the smallest update Overwatch has ever seen, but still relatively awesome, because it involves a brand new legendary honest skin that could also hint at the theme of the future Overwatch Summer Games event. But for the brand new legendary honest skin, we got her in her Herer skin? I hope I pronounced that right. It's a part of the Overwatch League monthly skin that they always release now. Beforehand, we got the May Melee May skin, and then on June, we got the June joust tournament skin with the widowmaker one and now we have the summer showdown tournament skin featuring anna and this skin is definitely interesting i feel like a lot of anna mains are gonna be split on this because i feel like this is anna's wildest skin which is crazy because anna has always been known to have wacky and kind of more outlandish skins whether it's her snow owl skin or her in her pharaoh skin because typically we always expect things like the cabana skin where it's anna being a normal girl grandma or maybe her in her archive skin where she's being a sniper like how she was back in her olden days not really somebody that is <laughs> someone that's supposed to be seen in the movie 300 and we obviously see that in her getup where she's more of a warrior or an Egyptian gladiator where she has a lot of bird or hawk like features we see it in the feet we see it in the cloak and we even see it in the mask and I think that's intentional because it's inspired from the sky god which is Horus from Egyptian culture so then once you you learn that and then you remember that Anna has the horse eye tattoo and she's also Egyptian so it only makes sense that she would become a sky god herself oh you start to love the skin even more if you weren't already I think my favorite part about this skin though is her eye where normally she has some sort of eye patch with the exception of her archive skin before she got absolutely quick scope by Widowmaker she has this piercing red eye as if she got the Sharingan from her best friend because he was crushed by a rock because this dude was simping over this girl that's honestly just kind of mid here and now he's all upset because oh Anna killed the love of my life so I have to create this great war with this other Uchiha clan member and then you get absolutely rolled but then you meet the love of your life in the afterlife and then you steal the Sharingan away from the coolest ninja of all time <laughs> If you don't know or watch Naruto, you have no idea what I'm talking about. Basically, Ana looks like Kakashi. <laughs> so the skin is really cool, Ana mains. Let me know how you feel about the skin because I feel like everybody outside of the Ana main clan is gonna love this skin because, well, Ana's a cool hero and this is a dope looking skin. Like, this is definitely a retransformation of what Ana typically looks like. And I think that's also why some people might not like it is because, well, this doesn't look like the typical sniper grandma that we come to know and love. But then again, she's never really been the sniper grandma that we've come to know and love in any of the other skins. This isn't too out of the ordinary for an honest skin. But one quick thing that I do want to point out that I have an issue with is that the regular gun without the gold camo looks like you have the gold camo. Like, why does Blizzard do this, man? I worked so hard for the Ana gold gun, and it looks no different compared to the regular skin of this Ana gladiator skin. Like, I don't get it, man. But besides that, don't looking skin let me know what you guys think about it but I did say that this could be hinting at the future overwatch summer games event or at least the theme because as you guys know the summer games event is scheduled to come out I would say at the very end of this Ana event and because the summer games event was inspired from the Olympics and the Olympics always had gods or goddesses I feel like this is going to be a theme for the up and coming event where we're going to have different kinds of god and goddesses made into skins for some of our favorite heroes maybe we can finally see a Poseidon skin for Reinhardt or maybe we can see some sort of God, man, I did not pay attention in English class where they talked about gods, but maybe we could just see some more Roman-inspired skins for some of our favorite heroes. That's the kind of thing that I kind of expect for this year's Summer Games event, but other than that, that's all I have to say. New Honest Skin, up-and-coming Summer Games event. Really excited to be an Overwatch fan because, I don't know, we just get new content every single week. Previously, we got Crossplay, and then before that, we got the Ash Skin Challenge, and then before that really nothing. Aaron Keller is doing an awesome job and taking over where Jeff Kaplan kind of failed to take over. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think about the honest skin. Let me know what you think about the up and coming theme of the summer games event. And if you think it should be gladiator and God and goddess theme, or if you think it should just be fun, the sun where everybody gets speedos and bathing suits. 
Either way, we win. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to get your honest skin because it's available now through July 19th. And it is available for 200 league tokens. I forgot to mention that earlier, but I think most people know that Overwatch League skins are always going to be 200 league tokens. You can always watch the Overwatch League to get free tokens if you don't want to be degenerate like me and spend $10 on a skin for a hero that you don't really play. But if you're an Ana main, definitely get this one because, well, once it's gone, it's gone forever. I don't want to see nobody complain like how Pink Mercy was back when it first came out because this is definitely going to be one of those honest skins that people look at and be like, oh, I want that one, but they can't get it. But anyway, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. More watch videos to come and bye.